Recently, there's been a lot of leaks and rumors regarding first-party titles that Xbox has, where they're going to be releasing, and the broader implications that this has for the Xbox brand as a whole, and the console market in general. So let's talk about it. So if you've been on social media at all recently and are an active member of the Xbox community, you've probably seen a few posts regarding the first party titles that Xbox has, whether they're games that have already released or future titles that are already announced or even planned to come out soon. It, what these leaks are are basically saying where these games might end up going because they might not be entirely exclusive. A few of the leaks mentioned game specific things such as Starfield, Hellblade 2, Indiana Jones, Gears of War, so on and so forth. And basically what these leaks and rumors boil down to is Xbox might actually be releasing these games on other platforms, not just Xbox and Windows PC. You could potentially see games like Starfield coming to PlayStation. And while in the grand scheme of things, a game like Starfield coming to PlayStation is a net positive for Microsoft as a whole because it means there's a whole new market of people that are going to be willing to purchase and play your game. This could be devastating for Xbox if any of these games end up doing that. And this isn't just some console war pandering BS. I'm a firm believer that gamers should be able to play whatever they want on whatever their preferred device is, whether that be on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, or even Switch if you're really going to count them, even though Nintendo's really in a league of their own when it comes to consoles. No, what this really boils down to is the fact that the market isn't really like that. PlayStation has a pretty strong stranglehold on the console market because they have really good first party exclusives. I myself prefer Xbox just because I like the way the controllers feel a little bit better. This is where I've ingrained myself and established my profile. I have 12 years of my Xbox profile behind me. If I were to just up and leave and go to a different platform, all of my progress, all of my saves, most of that stuff, if it's not a cross-platform game, is now gone. What these leaks really would do is essentially kill the Xbox brand in its entirety. Maybe not immediately, and it would take a few years, but if Xbox releases basically all of their first-party games on every platform that's out there, what's the point of buying an Xbox? Starfield, which was a game that I believe was initially supposed to be a PlayStation exclusive prior to the acquisition by Microsoft, ended up being an Xbox exclusive game, or an Xbox and PC exclusive game. You could not play Starfield on a PS5. But these leaks and rumors indicate that you might actually be able to play Starfield on a PlayStation 5 if what is being said in these leaks turns out to be true. So if that's the case and Starfield does end up coming out on another console, this being the PlayStation 5, what is the purpose of having an Xbox? There essentially wouldn't be one. If you could play any of the Microsoft first party games on any device that you play games on, there really isn't a point to purchasing the Xbox in and of itself. If you're going to get Starfield or Hellblade 2 or hell, even the Gears of War and Halo games on PlayStation, why wouldn't you just get a PlayStation? They have better exclusives as it is. Really good exclusive games can drive up demand for a console. I mean, look at the original Halo and Gears of War trilogies. Those are synonymous with the Xbox brand, and while they still are to this day, being on the Xbox 360 was kind of a need to play these amazing games. You couldn't get a PlayStation and play Halo or Gears of War. Same thing with the PS5. You want to play Last of Us, God of War, the Spider-Man games, and so many other great exclusive games, you have to get a PlayStation. You can't have an Xbox and play those also amazing games. That's really the whole point behind this console market. If one brand has significantly better first party games, demand for that console is going to be so much higher, and that drives competition in the field. Sony has amazing first party games, Xbox needs to step up. They need to entice people to buy their console. That's essentially what Starfield was when it was announced to be exclusive for Xbox. It was the reason that so many people bought an Xbox Series X, and I've seen plenty of posts about it on Reddit that this specific game is the reason why people bought this specific console. Same thing with a new mainline Gears of War game, or honestly one of my most anticipated games, Hellblade 2. If that came out on PS5, I have no reason to own my Xbox anymore, aside from the fact that I'm just established as an Xbox player. 
If Xbox ends up going the route of essentially being a third-party publisher, where all of their games that they develop in-house are also available on every other platform, the Xbox brand as we know it is going to cease to exist. Again, might not be an immediate thing. It might take 5-10 years for that to happen, but I can guarantee you that if Xbox basically goes that route, kind of what Sega did, where they just kind of publish games and give them to everybody, you're going to have no need to buy an Xbox. The sales of Xbox hardware is going to significantly decrease because people aren't going to see a point into purchasing it when they could just get the competitor's console and play all of your games plus their games. The whole point of exclusivity is to drive up the competition in the market. And if Xbox ends up going this route and basically kills themselves off, there's really going to be no competition. Who are you going to buy a console from? Nintendo or Sony? And Nintendo arguably is in their own lane because the Switch isn't that powerful. It's only really good at running Nintendo games. Otherwise, really, there's no point in playing anything else on a Switch. So it's pretty much just going to leave Sony with their PlayStation brand. That's going to be basically the only juggernaut of a console. And that's basically just going to create a monopoly for Sony. They can essentially do whatever they want. If they want to raise the price of their next console by $300, they could. Because who's going to stop them? There's no competition. There's not going to be another console that has great exclusives or anything else in their ecosystem that's going to stop Sony from doing this. The implications of bringing all of your first-party games to other platforms is just detrimental to the brand as a whole, and I don't see how Xbox would survive this. This also transfers over to your digital library. As the internet age grows, less and less people are buying physical games. I myself am included in that. But aside from wanting an old game that you can't purchase on the store anymore, really who is buying too many physical games? Maybe one or two a year for the games you really, really like, but otherwise your digital library is stuck with you. If the Xbox brand dies out, what happens to all those digital games? If Microsoft stops making consoles and the Xbox brand ceases to exist, what's going to happen to the games you bought over the years? Are they going to strike a deal with Sony or even Valve to have all your games transfer over to Steam or PlayStation because you purchased them on one platform? I would highly doubt that. And that doesn't even take into account all the stuff that you have unlocked in these exclusive games. In a game where all my save data is on an Xbox and it's not a cross-platform game, if in this situation the Xbox brand essentially dies off, everything I've unlocked and potentially even spent money on would cease to exist. It was an investment that I made that is really just a waste of money because all of my progress is gone. Now, of course, all of these situations are hypotheticals. Nothing has been confirmed by Microsoft. They haven't really even said much. Phil Spencer did put out a post on Twitter, but it really doesn't say anything of note, and it kind of just leaves me a little bit more concerned. His full post is as follows. We're listening, and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week, where we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. This post doesn't confirm or deny anything. It doesn't say, yeah, no, we're gonna end up going this route where we're gonna release our games multi-platform. But it also doesn't say, we hear you, we're not gonna end up doing this because we know it'll hurt the brand in the long run. This statement just leaves me a little bit more worried. Apparently there is going to be an update sometime next week, and maybe I'll make an update to this after that, but this statement really doesn't give me high hopes for the future of Xbox. I really hope that these rumors and leaks are proven to be false, and hopefully it's just clicks for the sake of clicks, but if any of this turns out to be true, I don't see how the Xbox brand really survives for too much longer. They're already struggling it as it is, and they are really far behind Sony in the console market. Having a change like this to your ecosystem would pretty much just kill off your brand as a whole. That's pretty much all I got for today. Let's continue this conversation down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.